Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the Gold Mine. Thank you for joining me here on another episode of Alley Chat here at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today we do have our first Alley Chat of the new year and because I don't think I'm going to be doing too much of a look today, I do have a special little extra for you guys, Alley Chat Mail Edition. I do have some packages of some recent cards that I got in the mail that I'm just going to check out and open up for you guys here on video. I think today, I think I'm just going to do a bit of eyeshadow, just kind of like the look I had on Friday at the Titan Cards channel. Uh, I did actually skip most of my skin makeup, just did a little bit of concealer on some acne, a little bit of blush, a little bit of contour for my chin, and then just really just the eyeshadow, and that was about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get on into it. Now, I did start to record an Alley Chat on Friday, I was hoping to have that done a little bit earlier. I didn't like the way I was going, so I'd canceled that one, especially because I was having some trouble with that blue eyeshadow that I was wearing. But I did finally finish the eyeshadow primer that I was using, the Urban Decay one. Now I'm using the little Fenty Beauty one, and I do like it so far, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on my eyes real quick. It does come with a little applicator instead of having to put it on my fingers. That's nice. And it is very thin. So it's a bit different than I was used to, but I do actually like it. It did seem to work pretty well. Go ahead, put that on that side, and then I'll tap it in. And I'll put some more. I gotta put more, I got, well, not necessarily more, but I have to put the other half of my eyes. I gotta do that over there. All right, so let me go ahead and tap that in. Spread it around, make sure it covers the whole lid. I don't really go beyond the lid in my looks. I just don't like the way it looks on me. Not sure if that's like a, I don't have the talent for it. I don't have the proper eye shape. I feel like a lot of my makeup does get hidden by the shape of my eyes because when I'm like this you really can't see anything my lids disappear and that's why I don't really do anything too adventurous either although I know you guys like that blue look from this past Monday and the blue was or, uh, the green from this past Monday and the blue look was pretty nice uh, we are going in with green today not like kind of the electric green that I had, but a uh, green that I've used before. We'll be using the Fenty Snap Shadow number 10. I think it's called Money. Do have a couple of greens in there that I really like. That's why I got it because I'm a big fan of green. I'm trying to expand my more neon color eyeshadow collection. So if you guys have any suggestions for neon eyeshadow palettes I should try out, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I did really like that look that I had on Monday with the electric green, but that's like the only bright green that I have. So, I mean, these are like the dark greens that I really enjoy, but like really bright colors. I was looking through my palettes. I don't really have anything. So if you guys know of any that you think I might like, like I said, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Now, what should I do here? I think I'm going to go in with this one and this top left green up there question is which one do I do on the inside inner corner I'll go with yeah, I'll go with the top left one that one's nice and bright all right let's see how this goes here let me make sure I'm recording I am yes that would be very awkward if I wasn't don't have the most time here on the Saturday night I meant to get started around 6 it's uh, 6 40 so I really need to hurry up finish this and then get into taking for the thumbnail for the stream that way hopefully when it sends out the notifications hey titan cards is live in 30 minutes it has the new picture instead of the old picture not like the world's biggest deal or anything like that but i, I like having the fancy picture I feel like people see me instead of just a picture of a box they might more, feel more inclined to come check it out now i feel like what happened with the blue eyeshadow is already happening here uh, I'm kind of hitting a little bit too high up on my eyelids and I'm not liking that look. So I might have to go ahead and clean that up a bit. But let's go in with the other green. Very shiny. I have so much stuff around me. That's why I'm tapping in different spots. I'm actually using... I actually left this open to use as a big mirror, which is why I'm not tapping in front of me. And I'm just using the small mirror. So let me go ahead and close that and then I can tap right in front. I was worried about getting fallout of this, the green colors, into the other palette, which would obviously not work very well for the other palette, make it a little bit dirty and whatnot. I love green. I guess even besides neon colors, if you guys have suggestions for green palettes, I'd love to hear them. I don't really have a signature look, I feel. I was thinking it might be cool to have one, but I like being able to just do different looks every day. I do the same style, I guess, every day, but I don't have like a signature color that like, that's, that's the alley look. You know what I'm saying? Well, alrighty, nice and green. 
I'd asked the live chat, the pre-game pre stream chat, you know, quick, what eyeshadow should I wear? Mad Max said Devil Ray Green. I'm like, I don't think this is Devil Ray Green, but I see green and I want to do green. Let's go with green. That's some nice green. I do like that. Now I have to clean it up. Matches my Baby Yoda necklace. Hopefully it's not too dark. That is actually a little bit of a concern that I have. I don't want it to be too dark. Let me clean off that brush a bit. Because uh, I am wearing the black. I don't want my eyes to look too sunken, especially since, uh, like I said, I'm not doing much face makeup today. I've been getting frustrated with how oily I've been recently. It's not even, li it's literally not even that hot outside. And I feel like I've been sweating up a storm. And then, of course, with how long the stream is and how long it's been taking me to film all the videos on the main channel, I feel like the videos, I'm not looking my best, like, at all. I get all oily and gross, I feel like. It's quite embarrassing, if I'm being honest, which is why I tried yesterday. Uh, let me... Right, so I actually, this side looks okay. The way I've rounded it out, aside from a little bit of fallout, gives a good shape. Now, however, on this side, I have a little bit here close to the inner corner that I need to go ahead and take away. Let me try and round that out like that. All right, so then when I'm sitting straight forward, my it's not going above onto the lid space that you can, well, I guess brow bone space that you guys can see. I go like that, you guys can see it. Uh, let me go ahead and straighten this side up a little. Well, clean this side up, not straighten it. You don't want to straighten it. That way they look even-ish. I don't really go like this, so it doesn't quite matter. That is cute. I am liking these greens. All right, mission accomplished. Now, I did wipe my face before, but let me go ahead. Let me see for it, for any spots I may need to put concealer on. Might go in with my chin. How does my chin look on camera? Chin's pretty red there in this spot. I want to cover that up. Maybe some more around here. Been having not the worst acne, but not the greatest either. Like, it's a good enough that I can go, like I was saying, without foundation, but I still need to cover some things up. So instead of using primer, I've been using this Fenty spray, makeup refreshing spray, also can be used, I've heard as a base, the What It Do spray. So let me go ahead and just, it smells really good too, just, kind of smells like sunscreen mixed with perfume. Instead of just spot putting on uh, primer, this is what I used yesterday, and like I said, I think it worked well for me. And then throughout the night, I can just sneak off to the side, use my little matte powder. What is this called? Blotting powder to get rid of like any oil on my nose and whatnot. Alrighty. Close that up. I won't need that anymore. I have my setting spray, Urban Decay setting spray. I did actually use Kat Von D, my old Kat Von D concealer, because that one kind of is a better skin tone match for me. I'm going to use the, and then this works well, the Fenty one works well with the foundation as like a lighter color to balance the foundation, but just for giving me back my skin tone, it's not the greatest. I do, however, want to use that on the under eye. Let me shake this. This one also smells like paint. I used to be really into Kat Von D stuff because it was the more eclectic colors and different and whatnot, but we all know now uh, Kat Von D is a nutcase, so uh, no longer support the brand. She doesn't even own Kat Von D Beauty anymore, which is now like KVD Vegan, Vegan Beauty and still uses the same packaging, so it still looks like it's just Kat Von D stuff. Which is kind of like a weird marketing blunder. If you're trying to step away from the Kat Von D markers, why do you continue to use literally all the same Kat Von D stuff? They renamed some products, but not, like, too much. All right, well, maybe. It's too bad, though, because I have a ton of Kat Von D stuff, and I feel guilt a little bit guilty when I use it, but obviously I'm, I'm not going to throw it away. I mean, the stuff wasn't cheap, and it works well. Especially a lot of the eyeshadows that I have. Like, actually, that green that I was using on Monday was a mix of the Pastel Goth Green Matte color and the Divine palettes, which I bought specifically to use that sparkly green. 
So I'm glad it works well, but like I said, every time I use Kat Von D stuff, I feel bad. I feel like a football player every time I put on my uh, concealer on my eyes. You know how they put the... You guys know what I'm talking about, maybe. Might have to turn down the light. Light might be a little bit too bright. The, uh, the ring light might be a little too bright tonight with the color that I'm wearing. I do know that I have to adjust it. I, well, I don't know, perhaps. But I've noticed, depending on what color I'm wearing, I need to adjust where I normally put, where I normally turn the knob to for brightness. And then let me actually mix a little bit of this concealer on this. It looks better in person. Just sometimes the camera is forgiving. Sometimes the camera is uh, worse than it looks in person. All right, that looks not bad. Let me just mix, well, try and press the rest of it into my face. Do need to use a little bit of setting powder. I don't want this stuff just sliding all over the place. Let me clean off that excess foundation I put on my hand. You know, I forgot to put on my mascara as well. I did that as well yesterday. Close this up before it dries out. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, let's get the setting powder out here. But how are you all doing today on this Sunday? I did want to record the alley chat on Monday. Had a lot going on on Monday. Didn't want to record it. And I was like, oh, I'll record it on Wednesday. Then we had a ton of stuff on Wednesday. And I was like, that's okay. I'll do it Friday. And then I was actually, I wore the blue yesterday because I wanted to talk about the Blue Eyes White Dragon figure from, uh, well, statue from figure first four figures, I believe. So that was up for pre-order, and I just wanted to talk about it. And uh, actually, I had mentioned in that video, the, scrap, the mysteriously scrapped video, that actually the regular editions of those statues went up for pre-order with Southern Hobby. And I did manage to order one of each of those colors, uh, one, because there's a white and there's a silver version. And then I do want to grab one of the definitive versions with the different heads. I don't know what color yet. I do want to just have three. You know, you gotta have three blue eyes. So it was cool because, uh, you know, ordering direct for us as a shop is a bit cheaper than if I were to buy it from an actual shop because that's how they make money. And I made a joke about, like, if you guys want to see me order more cool stuff, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon. And then I felt really guilty about saying it because, like, I meant it as a joke, but also a little serious. And I tried to walk it back and then I just got kind of quiet and I was like, you know, I'm gonna just stop the video. So I just had gotten rid of that yesterday. I might have the footage somewhere. I might have deleted it. Because it records... I mean, I could always just move the footage over to the storage drive, but it records on the main drive. And that the, the more stuff that's on the drive, I've noticed... The, oh, geez, my setting powder is all over my shirt. I've noticed that the more is on there, the longer it takes to export videos. So, like, I'll regularly delete all the footage. Like, once I'm done with whatever's exported, I'll be like, okay, now I can just delete the rest of it. So I don't know if it's actually been deleted yet. Because so I was thinking maybe I could say, hey, you guys, if we set a light goal on this video, maybe I'll just upload the, that half of an alley chat. Because it wasn't all bad, but I was struggling a bit with my my eyeshadow and just that. I didn't I didn't feel like it went over well. I felt bad about I feel bad about any kind of self-promotion. I, I got over it, obviously, because I say it all the time now. But even on the main channel, how I say, please subscribe at the end of all videos. When I first started doing that, it felt really weird. And then it's like... Obviously, I'm going to ask people to subscribe just in case they forgot. It's not like I'm begging for a subscription. Everyone says, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'm, I'm past that now. I'm used to it. But even that, when I first started out, felt really just weird to even mention. I don't know. I don't like asking people to do stuff. It feels weird. All right. I think my skin is dry. Why does it look like I have a red spot here? Because I do. Whatever. I don't have the time for this. Oop. I yeeted my mascara. Let's... Is it mascara or mascara? I don't actually know. I've heard it both ways. So I say it. I feel like I flip back and forth. I say it one way and I'll say it the other way. Let's hope I don't smudge this all over my brow bone or my under eye. We are past the point of no return on fixing it. 
I'd honestly probably just do a lot of people put eyeshadow underneath as well. I have never actually practiced with that because I mean I like the way it looks on other people but I don't feel like it's necessary for me. I honestly, it's weird. It's like why am I on YouTube making videos, posting on Instagram and whatnot? It's more of like a business decision. I hate people looking at me. I hate people listening to me. Like, I want to live my life on notice. So like why did I choose this career path? Nobody knows. <laughs> So I don't like bringing attention to myself, and I feel like it looks really cool, but I, people are going to comment on it, and like, you know, I already get comments, it's like, you know, I try too hard, and whatever. So I still, I'm, I, mean, I am branching out, doing more crazy colors and whatnot, so I mean, I say that, I've done one, one neon look this whole year, whatever. We're nine days in, it doesn't matter, but, you know, I just think too much in general. That's probably my main problem, overthinking things. It's almost seven o'clock, so I do want to pick up the pace here. Cause like I said, I have some mail I want to open with you guys. I was thinking, yeah, I could push it into another video. And then I went to Target this morning, found these really cool new Lego sets. I did post those on my Instagram. If you want to go ahead and check those out, little Harry Potter, like classroom books. They're like, they're in the, like, you make the little book and it folds out and it does like the classroom and it has little minifigures. I was like, these are so cool. I have so far found three of the four, and I was like, oh, four part series. So that's what's going to be coming this week. Two videos of that. I'll probably start with the Slytherin one, because Slytherin is my favorite. We love Draco in this house, although you guys probably could have guessed that. Oh, also, I mentioned in the video that got canceled. Uh, I finally hit pan on something. You guys can see my packages. I've hit pan on the uh, the blush. Which feels cool, so that means like I've almost actually finished something for once. But it doesn't really accomplish much because I want to go through my stuff, so I have like way too much makeup. But like I use this blush every day, so I just gotta go ahead and buy a new one. It doesn't really accomplish me getting rid of anything. Like I have a ton of the Bath and Body Works like sprays. And I try and use it every day, and this one I've had for like, I mean I've only started using it regularly recent-ish. Uh, it's almost done, but it feels like they, they're just endless. I feel like it's like, oh, I'm going to finish this in, within the week. And then just the, the levels of product just does not change. It's ridiculous. I have so much of this stuff. And I, I don't want to throw it away, obviously, but I want to use it and get rid of it. And it just doesn't end. I just can't get through any of it. Makes no sense. So, like, the stuff you want to have forever finishes, like the blush. And then the stuff you want to get rid of, finish and just get rid of, just lasts forever. Oh, also, let me know in the comments down below if this is something you'd like me to see. Again, hateful Facebook targeted ads. I was recommending all these, like, skinny mint products to me, which are, like, those those 28-day tea talks and whatnot. And they had this, like, little mix thing. And I was like, yeah, I could try that. So I'd ordered it. So if you guys want to see my, my journey with skinny mint, see, and, like, obviously I know it's not, like, real weight loss stuff. Like, what it does is like just makes you poop a lot so it's like yeah clear whatever out see if i look skinnier because it makes no sense because right now actually who spoiler alert Allie talks about her life right now i am 169 and like 0.8 so like basically 170. last time i was 170 oh i almost spritzed this with this cap on last time i was 170 i was floating around between a jean size of 8 to 10. I still fit into a size zero. Where is this weight? I have no idea. I figured something's gotta go. May as well try it. I also had this fat burning hot chocolate. I'm like, supposedly it tastes good. Everything was also buy one, get one free. So I'm like, mm. it's supposed to help boost your metabolism and suppress appetite. And I'm like, well, I already used the Keurig. It doesn't go into Keurig, but I put the water through the Keurig and whatever. I can try it. You want to see Allie's not really weight loss journey? Let me know in the comments. I just don't know where the weight is. <laughs> like, I could feel it a bit. Like, in my back isn't as, you know, flat as it used to be. My arms as well. I feel a bit pudgy in my stomach and whatnot. But, like, mm, the weight distribution doesn't make sense. I don't know where this weight is. 
And, you know, I haven't been feeling the greatest for a while. I've been stressed out. I've been busy. So maybe that'll help. I figured, you know. So that's what we're going to try here. And I believe my makeup is done, aside from whatever lip color I want to go with. Glasses are clean. All right, here we go. Cute. Obviously, my skin doesn't look great because there's no foundation, but... Well, now my skin doesn't look bad. I was also talking about how I hate this side of my face. Just don't look at this side. I'm just investigating. I feel like this side is a much better look for me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's this thing. I've thought about getting that removed a lot. I've looked into it. And then I'm like, yeah, but what if I get rid of it? And then I regret it. I can't put it back on. And I'm like, why? I hate my stupid little dot of my face. Well, I have two of them, actually. This one's faded away a lot. And it's also more flat. So it gets uh, covered up with makeup. I have asked my dermatologist. No, it's nothing to be worried about. I'm like... Man, that could have been an excuse to get rid of it. But all right, we are about to get into mail time here. Let me go ahead and boop, wrong button. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I've been using these hotkeys for a year and I still am like, which one is which? But sorry if this episode feels rushed. I mean, it's literally still 22 minutes long at what it is right now. I guess I just feel like I'm accomplishing a lot in a quicker time. I mean, alley chats are usually about 40 minutes. Did shave off a lot of time not using foundation, though. This package here is for my friend Greg. He did put a little Baby Yoda on it as well. Uh, this should be... A lot of this stuff is going to be cards from Holocron. And then some of it's stuff that I'd ordered last year that finally showed up. So this one here from Greg. Greg did contact me when he pulled this because he knows I'm nuts about it. Let's go ahead and open it on up do have from Holocron the purple parallel of Agent Callus number 210. 10 of 10, yee, bay one of one here. Agent Callus purple parallel for my Agent Callus collection. So thank you, Greg, for contacting me when you did find that. This one, I believe, is an eBay package. This could be Holocron related. It could be something else. I don't know exactly what's what, but I have a general... Well, some packages I do know what's what, but in general, I have an idea of what I'm going to be finding here today. All right. I was tired of that corner, so I just ripped it. All right. What do we have here? We have... We got some basketball. A lot of people use extra base cards as, like packaging. One time someone would use Chrome Legacy poster inserts and we're like, what? What? I'm like, these are like four bucks a piece. Thanks, I guess. I'll list them on eBay. Oh, it is. There he is. Look for Masterwork. We have an orange BD1 number 210. That's number 9 of 10. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not certain which one this is. I did win two on auction because they were both like 25 bucks. I'm like, closing, the, closing in on the market, you guys. I have one-fifth of the production run of those orange BD ones now. And, you know, I still haven't even finished Jedi Fallen Order. I still die on the train in the first 40 minutes. It's a really good game, though. I'm excited. I, I hope one day I can just sit down and play it more. I just... I'm not used to the controls of a PS4. It feels wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. And this I also won an auction. This actually really recently. That's the thing, the mail makes no sense because I'm still missing some packages from last year, but also stuff I ordered like last week have shown up. I do have the cyan, no, not cyan, yellow. Why did I say, I'm like, the yellow one, that's cyan, right? No, it's just straight up yellow. I do have the yellow printing plates of BD1 from, of course, Masterwork 1 of 1. All right, very nice. And this package here is... I believe from Kenny, not the Tarkin Kenny, but a different Kenny. This should also be masterwork related. Interesting packing here. <laughs> that is actually funny. I was like worried he'd be loose in here, but he's actually secured with painter's tape still in the team bag. And not in the team bag, but in a top loader. Do have purple. Looks kind of blue there. It is purple parallel though of Dio. 12 of 50 here from masterwork. Do have the black Dio printing plates. Also pulled on the Titan Cards channel for Catherine. I pulled the yellow one, but she wants to keep it for now. At least I know where it is. But, so, Super Master Rainbow of Dio. Not possible. I've not seen any of the regular ones for any of these guys pop up. Seen, the, like I said, the plate here. Two of the Dio plates. 
but not like the regular 101s. I've seen three BD ones out of 10. Actually, that reminds me, I have to see if Broderick wants to sell that other BD-1 uh, BD out of 10. Uh, this was an eBay package. So this could be Masterwork Holocron, or uh, this might be, might have been that one. Actually, I, I think it is this one. This one was one of my packages from last year. Impulse buy, but I wanted the card anyways. Yep, this should be it. All right, let's check this out. We do have this red parallel from Return of the Jedi Black and White, number five of 10. Card number 79, Luke looks on. Now the Star Wars Autograph Universe was teasing like a pretty big announcement. That was the announcement that ended up being the Chris Hemsworth. Um, and Mr. Seafood Man and I were scheming like, what if it's Mark Hamill? So I went out and I found like this really nice Mark Hamill card. <laughs> I mean, I'd actually, when this set, when the set came out, Return of the Jedi Black and White, I really liked this picture anyways. And I remember I had been eyeballing a low numbered car. I, I might have been actually out of 10 on auction back when it came out and I, I didn't win. I don't know if it was out of five or out of 10, but I didn't win it. So I was like, I saw that. It was literally 20 bucks. I was like, a loot card out of 10 for 20 bucks where I really liked the picture and I wanted it anyways. Sign me up. It did take a month to get here, but that's not their fault. This package here, I believe is another eBay package. Probably Holocron, but could be Masterwork. And then this package here is really cool. I'll show you guys that one. I'll, I'm saving that one for last. Kind of intentionally, but not 100. Ah, yes, it is. All right, cool. Here is the other BD10, BD1 out of 10. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Fancy packaging. Fancy. How do I extract you? Feel like that Eric Andre meme. Let me in. Which actually takes on a whole different context based on the uh, recent events of this past week. Uh, pro tip, you guys, don't commit de domestic terrorism. That's Allie's words of wisdom for the week. Words to live by, you guys. There is the other. We have one-fifth of the market here, BD, one out of ten. That one's five of ten. This one's nine of ten. Just missing eight more. <laughs> All right. And then this last package here actually is from Eddie S. over from Titan Cards. Eddie has opened up, well, had me open up some boxes for him on the channel, and he actually pulled this out of a box he opened from his local shop and reached out to me saying, hey, you like this, right? Do you want this? I'm like, yeah. So shout out to Eddie for reaching out to me. That was really cool. And this did ship, like, I feel like two days ago. That's why a post office makes no sense. If you're waiting on packages, they probably will arrive soon. Things seem to be getting back to normal. And I do believe I'm still waiting on one more package from 2020. And then I'll be good. I'm gonna make sure there's no identifying information in here. Nice box, though. Nice bubble wrap. I can reuse that. All right. Both boxes I'm saving to reuse. Again, make sure there's no information. All right, good, good. I'm not sure why my hands are so shaky. Hopefully that goes away before the stream starts. All right, cool, spacer, spacer, big spacers. And then we do have, da -da -da, we have the Holocron cyan printing plate of the Padme card I'm trying to super rainbow. As of course, all plates are one of ones. Very clean plate too. I mean, it does have that marker cross, but I've seen plates that have been bent. I've seen plates. Actually, this Anakin plate I'm watching on auction is like super dirty on the back too. But this one's very nice, gorgeous Padme card. So thank you so much, Eddie, for letting me know when you pulled it, thinking of me. Really do appreciate that. But that'll wrap off today's Alley Chat. Alley Chat bonus mail segment. Did get our two BD1s here out of 10. BD1 printing plate, purple callus. Red, Luke out of 10, Padme printing plate, and Purple Dio from 2020 Masterwork. So that will do it here for this episode of Alley Chat. I really do have to go ahead and head out. It is 7.09. I have a whole six minutes to take a picture and post it before the notifications go out for that live stream. So I will catch you guys. Uh, well, for me, I will catch you guys in a little bit, but I will have caught you guys yesterday if you are, of course, subscribed to Titan Cards, the main channel. Most of the content is over there. And I'm going to be adding most likely Tuesdays to the regular upload schedule just to balance my schedule a bit better. Uh, it's been very 
overwhelming and I feel guilty about being so behind on people's personal breaks, but there is really only so much I can do in a day. But yeah, so very cool Lego openings coming to the channel later this week. I hope you guys enjoy this alley chat here. Also, before I go, I have to give a big shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you guys, for your above and beyond support of the channel, especially to our ultimate excavator, Stephen Olivo, and to our gemstone miner, Andin. Thank you so much, you guys, for all that support. I really do appreciate it. But this is it here for this alley chat. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Comments to me answering those questions I posed to you guys throughout the video. Leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Alley's Treasure Trove family, if this is your first time here, I'm sorry for this weird video. I do a lot of different stuff here on the channel, but these do, these makeup videos do come every other week and I open up packages every now and then with my new collection editions. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really do appreciate it. But let me go ahead and get on out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we unearth some Harry Potter Lego. What do I say on this channel? Man, I'm losing it. Treasures. I just went into too much detail. Join me again on Tuesday as we unearth some more treasures here at Allie's Treasure Trove, Harry Potter Lego Edition. I am very, actually very excited for that. So hopefully I might even come in uh, on Sunday when this video is up, but I might come in early and record an episode or two of that. Those look really fun. I'm excited to check those out. Depends, of course, on my energy levels. But thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!